Imagine Mobile. Inside here, we've got all the little gizmos and gadgets. We've got our temperature gauges for the um, the oil and the engine. They both have to be up at a certain temperature before we can switch from diesel to vegetable oil. If we don't get up there, then the engine will clog and die and it'll be a big disaster. So, and then out here, we take the one out back here. Pop the trunk here. This is our fuel tank, which holds, I think it's 14 gallons of vegetable oil. The coolant from the engine runs underneath this tank and heats the oil to about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. The oil is then pumped through the, uh, just some piping that goes underneath the car back towards the front of the engine, where it is then used as the fuel as diesel would be used. After the uh, oil comes from the tank in the back, it is pumped through these pipes, through these solenoids, which switch between diesel flowing through the tank and vegetable oil through the tank. The vegetable oil then flows into the diesel engine and operates like a typical diesel would. And then, uh, then it's just pumped out as exhaust out the back and it smells like a french fry. And uh, when, we're done, when we're ready to shut the vehicle off, we had a purge button inside the uh, interior and it starts pumping the vegetable oil out of the engine and starts pumping diesel back in and we can run on diesel again. What I have here is waste vegetable oil. Um, and this is currently what the veggie mobile runs off of. If you look at it, it's real viscous. Um, and what we do with this is just simply filter it and then we pour it into the second gas tank. And then once the car gets up to a certain temperature, we switch it and run it off pure vegetable oil. The problem with it though is during the winter time, this becomes in solid, almost like margarine. process of making biodiesel and you can see the viscosity is much much less and so our goal in the future um, for this upcoming school year is to be able to manufacture from the waste vegetable oil the biodiesel so we can run this as a fry bread of biodiesel 